So here's a really nice example of a natural terrain feature that I can use to protect myself as I go past. So Rob's got me on belay. As I come up to this spike, if I flick the rope over it, that's protecting me now as I make this move through. So as I arrive at the stance, let's look this time at using wires, because occasionally we won't have the option of a spike or a thread to use. So let's look at how we can use wires, much as we would in a rock climbing scenario. So I've got a couple of cracks available to me. Let's have a look at this one here. I think I can get a wire in there. Give it a good test, make sure that's solid. And I'm looking for lots of coverage, metal against rock. That one looks good. Put a carabiner on there. And then, just around the corner here. Again, lots of metal against rock. So how are we going to equalize the two of these? So we'll bring them together using a sling. Crab in, crab in. And the important thing here is that both anchors, both anchors are loaded equally and independently. So I'm going to put a knot, an overhand knot, across my sling to create two separate loops into the end of both pieces of gear. And then I need to think about where's the load going to come from, where's the direction of pull. So Rob's coming up from this way, I'm going to shift my knot so that the load comes equally onto both loops of sling that I've created here. I'm going to make myself safe, so my carabiner goes through both of those loops and I'm going to tie myself on with my clove hitch. Safe Rob! get into the position that I want to belay from and I'm tight to the anchor, both of those wires are under tension and they're independent of each other as well. So if one anchor were to fail, it's not going to shock load or impact on the other anchor. So Rob's taken me off belay, I can pull the slack through. And this time I've got a choice. I could do a direct belay off the sling itself, but we've looked at that. So let's have a look at using the belay plate and bringing Rob up, much as we would in a climbing context. So here, I'm going to clip into the rope loop itself. Okay, Rob, climb when you're ready. And I want to keep that anchor under tension as Rob climbs. So Rob's taking the anchor apart and once we get slings involved on that belay and on this belay, this is where the pace really slows down. So we've moved right down that safety end of the scale and the speed has really slowed down. Okay. And that rock spike that protected me as I came past it is now doing the same job for Rob as he comes around. So I'm going to get him to leave that rope over that spike until he's made that crux move. And then as he steps off, if I pull the slack through, It's done its job. Nice one. I'm 
Okay, so we're both safe on the belay. The next question, what's coming up next? What do we do next on our sliding scale?